Have you ever wondered what other planets might be like? What if we told you there are more than 4,000 exoplanets out there? That's right, exoplanets or extrasolar planets are celestial bodies that orbit stars outside our solar system. Their existence was merely a subject of speculation until the mid-90s. But in 1995, astronomers confirmed the existence of the first exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star. Today, the count has surpassed 4,000 and it's still growing, thanks to the tireless work of scientists and the wonders of modern space technology. These exoplanets are as varied and unique as the stars they orbit, from gas giants larger than Jupiter to rocky, Earth-like planets that could potentially harbor life. Fascinating, isn't it? So, strap in and prepare for an interstellar journey like no other. Let's dive into the fascinating universes of the 10 most Earth-like exoplanets. Imagine a world four and a half times the size of Earth, just 22 light years away. Welcome to Gliese 667 cc. This exoplanet, discovered using the European Southern Observatory's 3.6 meter telescope in Chile, is a heavyweight in the cosmic arena, boasting a mass at least four and a half times that of Earth. Gliese 667 cc zips around its host star, completing one full orbit in a mere 28 days. But don't let this speedy orbit fool you. The star it orbits is a red dwarf, considerably cooler than our sun, placing Gliese 667 cc within what we consider the habitable zone. This is the area around a star where conditions could be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, a key ingredient for life as we know it. But proximity to a red dwarf is not without its potential challenges. Red dwarfs are known for their tendency to produce flares, eruptions of energy that can increase a star's brightness for a few minutes to a few hours. If Gliese 667 cc orbits close enough to its host star, it could be subjected to these flares, transforming this potential haven into a fiery world. Yet despite this potential hazard, Gliese 667 cc captivates our curiosity. Its proximity to Earth, its size, and its position within the habitable zone all make it a compelling candidate in our quest to find other habitable worlds. And while we still have much to learn about this intriguing exoplanet, every discovery brings us one step closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Despite its potential challenges, Gliese 667 cc remains a captivating prospect in our search for habitable exoplanets. Ah, uh, 600 light years away, meet Kepler 22b the first Kepler planet found in the habitable zone of its parent star. This intriguing world, considerably larger than our home planet, is roughly 2.4 times the size of Earth. An impressive super-Earth, but what does that mean for its composition? Well, we're not entirely sure. The nature of Kepler 22b is shrouded in mystery. Is it rocky like our Earth, or is it dominated by oceans or gas? Unfortunately, despite our technological advances, these questions remain unanswered. Yet the uncertainty doesn't detract from the alluring mystique of this super-Earth. Instead, it adds to it, fueling our desire to learn more. Kepler-22 B's orbit is another fascinating aspect of this exoplanet. It takes approximately 290 days for Kepler-22b to complete one orbit around its star. That's pretty similar to Earth's 365 days. The parent star of Kepler-22b is a G-class star like our Sun. However, it's smaller and colder, which impacts the conditions on Kepler-22b. It's a crucial factor in determining whether this super-Earth could potentially support life as we know it. What we know about Kepler-22b comes from the Kepler Space Telescope, a marvel of human ingenuity that has expanded our understanding of the universe. The telescope has discovered thousands of exoplanets, each unique and captivating in their own way. Yet Kepler-22b stands out. It's the first planet Kepler found in the habitable zone of its star, a discovery that ignited excitement and speculation. Kepler-22b, with its Earth-like orbit and intriguing size, continues to pique our curiosity. It's a testament to the diversity of worlds out there, beyond our solar system. The super-Earth serves as a constant reminder that we're part of a vast, complex universe filled with countless mysteries waiting to be unraveled. So as we continue to gaze at the stars, we can only wonder what secrets Kepler-22b holds. Until we uncover them, this super-Earth remains an enigma, a distant world that sparks our imagination and fuels our quest for knowledge. Journey with us 2,700 light-years away to Kepler-69c. 
a planet with a position comparable to Venus in our own solar system. This intriguing exoplanet, nestled in the far reaches of our galaxy, is about 70% larger than Earth, but don't let its size fool you. The mystery of its composition is still a hot topic among scientists. Is it a rocky world like ours, or does it have a completely different structure? Kepler, 69C is a part of a constellation known as Cygnus. It takes this far-off world about 242 days to complete one orbit around its host star. This puts it in a position within its solar system that mirrors Venus within ours. But unlike Venus with its scorching temperatures and heavy toxic atmosphere, Kepler-69c has the potential to be habitable. This is because Kepler-69c's host star is about 80% as luminous as our Sun. It's a lesser light, yet it's enough to place Kepler-69c squarely in the habitable zone. This is the Goldilocks region where the conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. And where there's water, there could potentially be life. But don't pack your bags just yet. While the idea of a habitable world is tantalizing, there are still many unknowns. For instance, we don't know if Kepler-69c has an atmosphere and if it does what it's made of. These are critical factors that determine whether a planet can support life. The discovery of Kepler-69c and other exoplanets like it is transforming our understanding of the universe. With each new find, we're getting closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Kepler-69c, a potentially habitable world, is yet another fascinating chapter in our exploration of exoplanets. Welcome to Kepler-62f, a planet 40% larger than Earth, orbiting a star much cooler than our Sun. Situated a staggering 1200 light years away, this fascinating exoplanet has caught the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. What sets Kepler-62f apart? Its orbit. Completing a full circle around its host star in 267 days, this exoplanet is comfortably nestled within the habitable zone. Despite orbiting closer to its red dwarf star than Earth does to the Sun, Kepler-62f receives much less light due to the cooler nature of its star. Now let's talk size. Kepler-62f is not just a little larger than our home planet, it's a whopping 40% bigger. This raises the question, what is this supersized world made of? While we don't have a definitive answer, scientists believe that Kepler-62f falls within the range of potentially rocky planets. But that's not where the intrigue ends. The size, combined with its location in the habitable zone, suggests the possibility of something even more exciting. Oceans. Yes, you heard right, oceans on an exoplanet. While it is still speculative, the idea of a potential ocean world offers a tantalizing possibility for life as we know it. Imagine, if you will, a world where the oceans stretch farther than our earthly eyes could see, under skies illuminated by a cool red sun. A world where these vast oceans could harbor life forms adapted to conditions we can only begin to comprehend. Of course, these are speculations based on our current understanding and technology. Until we can journey to these distant worlds or develop more advanced observation methods, we can only dream and theorize about what they might truly be like. Kepler-62f, with its potential for oceans, beckons us to imagine the possibilities. See our 500 light-years from Earth, Kepler-186f resides in the habitable zone of its star, receiving just one-third of the energy from its star that Earth gets from the Sun. This intriguing exoplanet, at most, is only 10% larger than our home planet, a size that brings us tantalizingly close to finding an Earth twin in the vast cosmos. Kepler-186f orbits a red dwarf, a type of star that is smaller and cooler than our Sun. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in the Milky Way, making them prime candidates in the search for habitable worlds. This particular celestial body, despite its lower energy output, has a habitable zone that allows for the possibility of liquid water on Kepler-186f's surface. The exoplanet's position within its solar system is on the outer edge of the habitable zone, meaning it receives a fraction of the energy that Earth does from our Sun. To put it into perspective, imagine a day so dim it feels like an hour after sunset that's the brightest it would get on Kepler-186f. Despite this, the conditions could potentially support life as we know it. However, it's important to note that being in the habitable zone does not guarantee that this world is habitable. It merely means that it has the potential to possess water in a liquid state, one of the vital ingredients for life as we understand it. Kepler, 186F's parent star, the Red Dwarf, 
is far less volatile than other stars of its kind. This is good news for any potential life, as red dwarfs are known for their violent flares that could strip away a planet's atmosphere, rendering it uninhabitable. Despite not being a true Earth twin, Kepler 186F holds a special place in our search for habitable worlds. It's a reminder that while we haven't found an exact Earth analog yet, we're getting closer with each new discovery. And who knows? Maybe one day, we'll find a world out there that's just right for life as we know it. The universe is vast and full of mysteries, and these exoplanets are just a few of the intriguing worlds waiting to be explored. Our cosmic journey has taken us from the fiery world of Gliese 667 cc, a mere 22 light years from Earth, to the super Earth Kepler 22b, a staggering 600 light years away. We've marveled at the Venus like Kepler 69c and pondered the potential oceans on Kepler 62f. Lastly, we ventured to Kepler 186EF, a planet that resides in the habitable zone of its star, though on the zone's outer edge. Each of these exoplanets presents a unique set of conditions, a unique story waiting to be told. Gliese 667 CC, for instance, orbits close to its host star, a red dwarf considerably cooler than the sun, presenting a harsh environment potentially baked by stellar flares. Kepler 22b, on the other hand, orbits a G-class star like our sun, albeit smaller and colder, raising the question of whether this super Earth is rocky, liquid, or gaseous. Then there's Kepler 69c, about 70% larger than Earth, orbiting its host star in a position comparable to that of Venus within our solar system. Kepler 62f, a planet 40% larger than Earth, orbits a star much cooler than our Sun, yet its orbit places it squarely within the habitable zone. And finally, Kepler 186f, a planet that receives just one-third of the energy from its star that Earth gets from the Sun, yet manages to reside in the habitable zone of its star. The quest for understanding these celestial bodies is far from over. Each discovery peels back another layer of the cosmic onion, revealing more about our own planet's place in the universe. These exoplanets in all their diverse glory underscore the beauty of the cosmos and the endless possibilities that await us in the stars. As our quest continues, each discovery brings us one step closer to answering the timeless question, are we alone in the universe?